Mr. Speaker, I represent the good people of Abom Bise, Ngobala, Federal Constance. I'm from Imo State. Mr. Speaker, I rise to move a motion that a bill for an act to alter the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, be put age limit for aspirants to certain political offices and for related matters. I so move. Aye. Those against me say nay. Honorable, um, okay, lead the debate for a minute. Yes, sir. Right, Honorable Speaker, distinguished colleagues, my name is Honorable Bid Uchenna Eke. Mr. Speaker, I represent the good people of Abom Bisen Gobala Federal Constituency. I'm from Imo State. Mr. Speaker, before I move on, I want to draw the attention of my colleagues to our house rule. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, when it comes to the issue of alteration of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, it says that the first and second reading to any bill to altering the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, shall be considered and proceeded, shall, Mr. Speaker, be considered and proceeded with an, with in accordance with the procedure on bills in the House Standing Orders. Shall. Mr. Speaker, I beg my colleagues to allow this motion to pass the second reading so that we can send it to the special, the ad hoc special committee on allow me. No, no, it's, it's an alteration of constitution. So that they, they will look at it and then bring it back to us for, for us to consider. Okay. Do you have uh, one or two things to add? Because what, yeah, you, just, what you just read tells us that it shall be debated. Thank you. I, what I want to tell my colleagues, we have challenges recently, distinguished colleagues, and one of those challenges is about the end SARS protest by the youth. And we are aware of their demands. Mr. Speaker, this bill, when passed, will our youth will celebrate this house? This, I'm not retiring anybody. Mr. Speaker, am I protected? Please allow, Madam colleague, uh, allow, allow him Rebeke to to lead his debate. Please. Allow him to lead the debate uh, as it's Honorable provided colleague, in our speak rooms. to Please. the chair. Speak to the chair. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for that protection. Mr. Speaker, this bill is a buffer to the Not Too Young to Rule Act, which the Eighth Assembly passed, and Nigerians were overwhelmed and celebrated us for passing that bill. Mr. Speaker, you cannot talk about not too young to rule act when the aging politicians still occupy the spaces for these youths to come on board. Mr. Speaker, this bill... Continue. Why are you distracted? Continue. Mr. Speaker... Hey, please, are you too old to be here? Speak to the chair. Speak to the chair. You don't need to look back. You are distracting me, please. Speak to the chair, Honorable. Mr. Speaker, this bill will go a long way in confirming the long age saying that the youth are leaders of tomorrow. That is what we've been hearing since for a long time, Mr. Speaker. Today is that tomorrow. And I will urge my colleagues, I will urge my colleagues to allow this bill. This bill is not targeted at anybody, but this bill will give our youth the hope that today, tomorrow, they will be part of government. Honorable Wigan, I want to 
understand this bill. You, it says um, to put age minimum or maximum. Maximum, Mr. Okay, so if you are if you are above a certain age, yes, you cannot contest. Yes, you that's what you are saying. What is your What is your maximum age, Mr. Speaker? For the office of For the office of twenty years as a limit. Okay, go on. Senate. The Senate will have sixty-five. House. House. The House of Reps will have sixty-five. I. Yes. I got. I. They. 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 Send me. You, oh, you have oh, some. Some members here will not be eligible in 2023. <laughs> And I represent the good people of Anoch from the federal constituency. I'm from Delta State. Mr. Speaker, my point of order is on order, constitutional order, section 42, under fundamental human rights. And it talks about right to freedom from discrimination. Mr. Speaker, rising from this. Silence, please. Silence. Silence, please. Mr. Speaker, rising from this. I want to advise, I want to advise the sponsor of this bill without necessarily reading this provision to step down that bill for us to have more discussion outside the plenary. That will enable members to understand the essence of the bill because if we allow this bill to go, given the provision of this section 42, there will be some kind of issues bordering on it because you cannot discriminate any Nigerian, any Nigerian from contesting the election. But given that this is a house that allows people to air their views and also we compromise, I will advise that the sponsor of this bill step down the bill and let us uh, allow it to, to, to be consolidated. This is my submission. So okay. let the sponsor of this bill step it down and uh, let us have more discussion on the. Well, yeah, yeah but, but section 42 is not applicable because it doesn't talk about age. Except to any disability or deprivation, merely by reason or circumstance of his birth. So if you are 65 years, because you are 65, it's by birth, it's your age. So circumstances of birth? Yes. <laughs> It has to do with age. Yes. Okay. Wait now. Circumstances of birth could mean that maybe you have polio or you have uh, some. Trying to talk about age, that by age you have is bringing the person to be a disability. Yeah. So okay, fine. Uh, um. Any. Honourable Jimo. My name is Jimo Abdurrahim Olajide. For the consideration you have given for this, when after voice vote has been taken, yeah, but but but, but, but I don't hit the gavel. And I know that I said when after the voice vote has been taken. Good. Our friend, our brother, has come with good intention, but not well intended. Yeah. Simply because, simply because you cannot limit. The age to contest an election. Maturity and wisdom are not the same. We are talking of two different things at the time. I would rather want him to either step it down or we take the boys' vote and hit the cafe so that the job can be taken. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I thank you for giving me the floor. Somebody said that you may not be able to qualify in 2023 if this bill See, goes. My auntie leader is one year older than me, <laughs> and I'm 55. That means he's already out of both senate and everything. He's one year my elder. So by his analysis, he's already out of national assembly, both <laughs> okay. senate and everywhere. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The intention of the crafter of this bill is well known. The crafter of this bill wants to protect the teeming youth who are desirous of getting a place in the national polity. Mr. Speaker, he 
made allusion to the NSAS people who are saying they want to rule. Mr. Speaker, he crafted the bill in a manner that space will be created for the young ones who are coming up. But the mistake in this is the constitution already provided for. In the alternative, he should not discriminate, he should include. The constitution says at 35, you can come to the house. At 40, you can be a governor. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the best governor we had then in the west, south, south, did the street for 23. What he could have done is to say, at the age of majority, you can contest, not to take away the wisdom of the elders. He can draft this to now say, rather than saying 35, you come to the house. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, anybody who is up to 23, 24, 25, can come to National Assembly. Not to say that the wisdom of those who are 70 should be taken away. So, in trying to play, uh, uh, to balance this, I would suggest that rather than going to the maximum, we could bring the, the, the minimum to a way that can make more use to say, once you are of majority and capable, contest. But saying that if you are 70, you cannot be a president. If you are 65, you cannot, then it will be dangerous. All over the world, I am told that Biden is 70 plus. I am told that the man who is even living became a 70 something. Not everybody will be uh, 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 at start. And like the last speaker said, the wisdom of Solomon has nothing to do with the age of Methuselah. Therefore, what we will do is to look for an age that will bring in the youth so that people like Matilda will not be out and his younger brothers can come in by the Matilda leader. By okay. saying, if you are to 18, you can run. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. My name is Tobio Kichwa and I represent an area of Guadalupe River Federal Constituency from Enugu State. Mr. Speaker, I want to substantially adopt some of the submissions that have been made by Honorable Abonta. Mr. Speaker, Honorable colleagues, I, know. I do not think that the intent of this bill is to try to cure a mischief, a defect, you create another. You know, based on our circumstances, there are situations you find uncomfortable, like when you have some adult delinquency or old man's delinquency when you, their expectations are not being met. That you are older or much younger is a matter of character. The prudence of your output, the quality of your output is contingent on how you are brought up. We have seen old people who have been president and they, they simply amplify the urge and the need for somebody to be president. Ronald Reagan was a president and he was president at 70. Uh, Joe Biden is close to, is, is almost uh, middle, middle 70s. 78. 78. So there isn't anything untoward about it. And Mr. Speaker, our laws and our constitution is very clear on when somebody is disabled while sitting in office. If by way of senility or you are acquainted with any disease and you are incapable of performing the duties of your office, 
our laws are very clear on that. That what the Federal Executive Council and the legislature can do to so that you can vacate that office. But we wouldn't ordinary. I think the expansion, like Honorable Abbott has said, should expand downwards. When somebody gets to the age of majority, which ordinarily is 18 years, he should be available to contest for any office. That is what we can use for, uh, do for, for, for young people. Expand the net. And some of them who are now at an age of, uh, the, you know, uh, 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 very uh, uh, given opportunity to have early education. Some of us did not go to school until we were eight years. Those were days when you have to turn your ear, you have to put your head over your head and touch your, your ear. We couldn't start school early because of the war and because of other issues. But we are here and putting ourselves properly. So those of them who are opportune to have early education and much more savvy in terms of education that we can expand our laws downwards. You know, young speakers like Luke, who was Speaker House of Assembly in our Waibom State, he has been here, he's chairman judiciary. We wouldn't say we are, wouldn't accommodate him. We have other younger bright people who are coming up and we should have them interact with old people so that they will be blessed with the, the, the opportunity of age and reason. And I think what we need to do for purposes of caution and accommodation, let the bill go through second reason. Not because we want to do the age limit uh, uh, upwards, because we want to expand downwards. Thank you very much. Okay, before we look at the content, the bill. The mover has a very good intention, but it's not well crafted. So I suggest that he's going to step down the bill so that we make further consultations in order to represent it in the near future. Yes, my son. Right honorable speaker, distinguished colleagues. My name is Honorable Bid Uchenna Eke. I represent Abombise Ngobala Federal Consensus. Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, uh, I find myself in a very precarious situation. <laughs> and uh, I can see the mood of the house. Mr. Speaker, but one thing I want to let my colleagues know is that in this house, we have called for the retirement and sack of the service chiefs in this house. In this country, the, the, the civil service rule says once you are 60, you go on retirement. 60 or 35 years. Please. Uh, please. I, Mr. Speaker, I just want my colleagues to note these two things. That this would have been an opportunity for us so let our youth, let our youth know that we think about them, that we want to carry them along, that we want them to be part of governance. Having said that, Mr. Speaker, by leave of this house, for further consultations, I step down, I move to step down this bill. 